Roll on crude oil. All right, here we go, guys and gals. All right, the methodology this morning was this, okay? We came in the room. We noticed that we were in a hard uptrend. We have a trend filter. The trend filter states that we don't like moving averages for support and resistance. We do not use it that way. They're very lagging indicators. We'll use them for trend direction. We have to establish if we're trending up, down, or sideways. If we're trending up, we're going to look for buy retracements. And what we established was we had a breakout of a high value area today and a retest in the stack level, and it came all the way to high value. So that gave us a nice little buy setup into that level on a three times area stacked on market profile. Then what we did is we established, since this was a stack level, and we already got a buy bounce off that level, if it broke through that stack market profile level, we should come all the way down to the control and then all the way down to possible the lows on LVA. We did that. We came all the way down to 50.19 within a couple ticks. I taught you an entry technique off market delta and market profile where you want to enter within a couple ticks of market profile. You can use market delta to pop yourself in the trade. The fill was 26 on the trade. We had a stop loss of 19. We had a seven tick stop loss on this bounce. I said, look for the bounce since we're in a hard uptrend. Look at my price profile was at 19. It came within a couple ticks of it at 21. 19, 20, 21, right? The low is 21. You're allowed to come with the two to three ticks of market profile and look for positive market delta. We got positive market delta right here. The trade was 26 long. Okay, the fill is 26 long. Live fill, 26 long. Stop, 19. Okay, two ticks below the swing low. I said the target on this move up would be the control point. The control point was all the way up here, the solid blue line. That's the most volume that's been traded in today's session since midnight. All right, so that is the overall target. Then we're looking for the rollover for what? Old support becomes new resistance. Old resistance becomes new support. We know when we break the control point, if it comes back up and retest the control point, we can go short. Sure enough, look what Market Delta did. 334 short right there. That was your negative Market Delta on the control point. All right? On the way up, oops, if you look what happened on the way up, that was our positive on the way up on the buy bounce at 21. So if you look at these two levels, there's your buy bounce, positive Market Delta on price profile. Here is your negative market delta on the control point. The beautiful thing about this system is this. Not only did it nail the exact high, which was a 700 order imbalance, anything over 200 on my Renko bar is huge. It was 700 plus and 600 before that. It stopped at the exact tick. Price profile has, has now called the exact high in the market with negative market delta over 700 and called it within two ticks the low. It just did it again in the low again. It came down to the 21 level again, and now it's bounced with positive market delta here. Look at the rhythm of this thing when you combine the power of the two. You combine the power of market delta with market profile. We let market profile set it up. It's now called the high of the move with 700, negative 700 market delta. And it's now it's called the low within two ticks, positive market delta. This is all planned ahead of time that we knew. We broke the stack level, coming down to support, look for the bounce. I said the target would be the control point. Sure enough, we go to the control point. We know when the control breaks, we let it retest, get negative market delta. Look at this trading today with the system. It doesn't get better than this. I mean, you it, it doesn't get better than having the market profile call these levels for support and resistance and then calling our market delta for the, um, I mean, our um, our market delta pops in the trade. But when you see this, guys and gals, this doesn't happen very often. I want to show you something before I shut this video off. Look at this, 700, 730, 730. Look at that. Look at that order imbalance. Seven, that's what started this whole big move down, 730 exactly on my profile. We broke through, broke through the stack level. Now, you can take that stack level short, just put your stop two ticks above 
the swing high, two bars earlier, when you break a big stack level. But then we come down to the buy bounce. There's your buy bounce. There's your sell into the control point, and there's your another buy bounce. Look at this, 623. 623, huge order imbalance at price profile again. 623. Not only was it 623, but it's actually into a corrective wave. Now check this out. This is not one times confluence. This is two times stack level on the second bounce. Why? Why is this two times stack market profile? Because I educate you and I teach you how this black chart has volume profile and price profile. And my white chart has developing profile. So if you look over here on my white chart, developing profile was sitting right there. Sitting right there at 24. 23, 24. So I had two times stack level again at what? Two times stack level at the 20 level again with positive market delta 623. All right. So that's how you let these two charts set it up. You let the black chart and the white chart set it up and you try to find where these three market profiles overlap within a few ticks two three four ticks of each other not 15 ticks not 20 ticks not 10 ticks i want them i want we, we're very unique because what we're doing is we're letting three different market profiles overlap each other for confluence and that's how we get big trades like this okay market profile sets it up Market Delta pops us in the trade. Gerald, go ahead and shut that off.